welcome back to my videos. Today we are going to be focusing on brows and the new ultra slim brow pencil that's been in America for a while and is finally coming over to Australia. It's a new pencil. I'm going to be showing you how I do my brows and how you can do them too. I really like to have my brows looking quite natural, quite thick and feathery, um, but still defined where it needs to be defined and filled in where it needs to be filled in. <laughs> okay, so let's hop right in because this is a really quick and easy tutorial and this will take you just no time. You'll be straight out the door. Okay, we're now super close, so welcome to my face. I have got two colors here with me today for the Ultra Slim Brow Pencils. I've got a lighter one that is 255 Soft Brown and a darker one which is 260 Deep Brown. Now, the reason I have two of these ones is because I like to do lighter on the inner bit and darker on the outer bit. So a little guide for where to fill in your brows. You can literally use your brow pencils to actually Actually show where to end them where to do the arch so grab your pencil look straight into a mirror go to the side of your nose and go straight upwards that is where the brow should end just here see that now take your pencil go to the side of your nose and go straight through your pupil while looking into a mirror that is where the arch should be just here and then for the ends of your brows Again, the side of your nose and straight through the bottom bit of your eye here. And that is where the end should be. Now, for the shape, you really want to stick around the size that your eyebrows are, unless you do like to thicken them up a little bit. I like to kind of shape around where the hairs actually end on my brows. You can see they're quite sparse around the edges here. So I only do go over where the hairs actually finish and give an arch here. But this bit here up to there should be one size. From there onwards, it's going to go thinner and thinner to the end here. So that's a little bit of brow knowledge for how I like to do them. <laughs> okay, first let's go in with the lighter shade. We're going to be doing light hair strokes upwards to the side and kind of just define around that area. Okay, so brow strokes upwards. I'm just going to fill in any of the gaps, create some shape and go around that line where you can see my hair is naturally going to. I really do like the saying, brows should be sisters, not twins, because mine are definitely, definitely not twins. <laughs> now grab the other end of your brush, which is the spoolie, and you're just going to go in and buff that out a little bit so the pencil doesn't look that harsh or dark. So the light color is done, let's move on to the darker color. I'm going to be going from around where I stopped. And I'm going to fill out those edges. I'm not going to do it too dark. And then I'm going to elongate it a little bit. You can see those are a little bit too dark, a little bit too defined. So again, grab your spoolie, go over it and soften it out. If you do need to go in for any other parts of your brows and just kind of soften it out a little bit but still create a little bit of color, the Brow Precise pencil is really good for that one. You can really easily just go over the whole brow and just make it that little bit darker. Now to define your brows a little bit more or clean them up if you like to, I like to use my Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 20. I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the back of my hand, get a tiny bit of product on the brush, and then I'm going to be mapping out the edges of my brows with this. Once the concealer is on, you can use your finger just to blend that down a little bit and blend into the skin. If you do like to have a bit more of a defined look on the top of the brows, you can definitely shape around there. But I don't really want to do that today, so I'm just going to leave them looking a little bit more natural. So I just finished my brows off with a little bit of brow gel. You can even just use the back of your spoolie to just brush the brow hairs upwards and to the side. It always makes them look a bit more fluffier and a bit more natural if there's a lot of product through your brow. Okay, so this is the brow look done. I really hope you enjoyed watching how I do my brows. I hope you've learned a little bit as well how to shape them. Please remember to subscribe and comment and like. You know what to do. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.